Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the black, Hispanic, and native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Downtown Conventional Center. It's got enough room for all of us. The Lord's 54th annual Passover. Last year, brothers and sisters showed up from all over the world rocking ancient garments and glorious apparel in order to serve the Most High in Christ. Now, it's that time again. Commander General Johanna's putting out the decree for all brothers and sisters to show up sundown, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us at the Sheridan in Raleigh, the hotel right downtown. It's at 421 South Salisbury. The Passover is right up the block at the convention center. Literally within walking distance. Make sure you pull up. Make sure that you do your due diligence because rooms are going fast and they are limited this weekend. You understand? We have months in advance of preparation. Do not wait till the last minute to get your room. The Lord's 54th annual Passover, Saturday, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us there. Send the curses to them enemies. The church is full of lust and is a big scandal and full of lies. And the minute the eyes you became been saying since 1969 to come out the Christian church because it's not helping us as a people. It, it hasn't helped us for 400 plus years. We've been calling ourselves Christian and look at the conditions that we're in right now as we speak. We're still destroyed as a people, man. First, start off, give me Romans chapter 13, verse 1. What we're going to do, we're going to go in the Bible with the Christian pastors failed to do. Christian church tell you your own personal beliefs and what you want to hear and make you feel good. You need to hear the truth. The truth is what's going to set you free, man. When you go inside that Christian church of crackhead, the Christian church is going to tell you that God has set you for who you are. You're going to continue to be a crackhead, man. When you need to hear the truth of the Bible, God says stop smoking, stop doing crack cocaine, stop whoring your sisters. This things that we need to hear to fix our people. The Christian church failed to doing that. We still have our sisters whoring, whoring themselves. Our brothers are dying from overdose on drugs. We just had a, 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 a rapper named Gangsta Boo just die from overdose, from drugs. And I'm, I'm pretty sure she was a Christian. And the Christian pastor had the word of God and so sanctified, that sister would still be living if they was teaching her the truth. But she believed that God loved her for doing them drugs and now she's dead and gone, man. That's the product of the Christian church. This is why blacks and Hispanics, so-called blacks and Hispanics, and Native American Indians need to come out that Christian church, man, because it's a destruction for our people. And God of the Bible told us this. You got what I want? Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. There is no power on the face of the earth but of God. We serve in all these other gods in the Christian church, but there's only one power, man, and that's the God of the Bible, the God for a particular people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. That's the only power that we need to serve. When we go in that Christian church, we're serving another nation pe a, a people and their gods. Prime example, if I could get that sign, Baba Kasha, I'm going to show you something that we need to realize that we've been, we've been brainwashed for 400 years and why we destroyed. When you go inside that Christian church, when these Christians preach, this is their God. This is their Christ, man. And this is who we serve. And this is why we are destroyed as a people. But the God of the Bible said there's only one high power, and that's him. The God for blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. We need to come out that Christian church and stop serving our enemies. This man right here was responsible for blacks going into slavery for 400 plus years. So you're telling me this same man is going to come save the very same people that he enslaved for 400 years? That's brainwashing. That's confusion. This is why we tell people to come out to Christian church. Because the Christian church teaching that garbage to keep us as servants. When we're supposed to be the gods of the earth. Lord case G, the authorities of the earth, man. We were supposed to set righteousness upon the face of the earth. But since we haven't been following God's laws, like the brother was saying earlier, our God is a good father. If you do what he say, he will reward you. If you if you don't do what he say, he will punish you. Since we since the black so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians didn't do what God say, he punished us by putting us into slavery. And if you didn't know, 
slavery is inside of the Bible. That was prophecy that was going to happen to God chosen people, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Keep going. Come on, God. Whosoever, therefore, resisteth the power, resists the ordinance of God. If you resist the power, the God of the Bible, you resist the ordinance of God. This is why you're going to be destroyed as a people, man. I'm talking to blacks and so-called blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians. We got to come out that Christian church and serve our higher power, the God for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 law tribes of the nation of Israel. You so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. The Christian church is going to tell you to serve your enemy and continue to be destroyed. Like I was saying earlier, they, the Christian church tell you what you want to hear. The Bible tells you what you need to hear to fix you, man. They tell you all love, soothing things. They, Christians are, God is love. God is all love. All you got to do is scream Jesus' name and you'll be saved. That is all lies. You've been doing that for 400 plus years and it still has not worked. You've been saying God is all love, Jesus love me. But you end up, your, your brother and sister that's doing wrong, that's how drugs, that's stealing from your brother, is now dead and gone. And that's, and the Christian pastors are responsible for your brother's death, man, or your sister's death, man. This is why we're destroyed as a people. We gotta come out there, Christian church, serve the God of the Bible, so we can now be in order and we can lift our brothers and sisters up, man, as one. Drop that, give me Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. Because we gotta understand that the God that we serve is a powerful God, man. It's a terrible God. Here's the here's the most the the, the powerful thing that ever existed, man. The God we serve is a powerful and terrible God. He is not all love. When you do wrong to God in the Bible, He brings destruction on the earth. He kills people for doing wrong. Let's not forget about our history. What happened in ancient Egypt, man? God destroyed the earth with a flood. So the Christian church is telling our people that God is all love. Why God of the Bible killed people with the flood, man? Everything you was taught was all lies. And we about to prove it out of the Bible to show you the powerful power that ever existed and how he feels, man. We're going to show you right here. Call and tell where you at. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 29. Oh, that thou shouldest not have done it. 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. God of the Bible is telling you, man, everything that's happened on the face of the earth, there's no God with him. There's only one God. This is what Christians believe. But let's see what the God of the Bible has to say. Right? I'm a God. I kill. What God said he do? I kill. What he do? Kill. The God of the Bible said, I kill. The Christian church believes that God is all love, man. The devil does everything. God of the Bible said that I kill, and there's more. I make a lie. And he make a lie, Rick. I wound and I heal. He wound and he's healed. And he heals, man. The God of the Bible is responsible for all things that happen on the face of the earth, Rick. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. There is no other God that could deliver so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians out the Lord's hand, man. We're going to prove it out the Bible because it sounds foreign. Because you were taught that God was all love. The Father that we serve, the God that we serve is a terrible God, man. We got to understand that. We got to stop being... The, 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 the Christian church conditioned our men to be soft and effeminate, man. We got to be warriors, man, like God of the Bible. The mo God of the Bible is a terrible God. We about to show you, man. Drop that. Give me... Isaiah 45 and 7. Because these pastors are responsible for our destruction, man. They are responsible for the death in our community, for all the raping in our community, for all the drug dealing in our community, for all the stealing in our community, man. The Christian church is responsible for that. All those things are the product of the Christian church. They, they produce these things in the Christian church, man, by teaching our people lies. And we're going to show you the terrible God that we serve in the Bible. Call and tell what you want. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. The God of the Bible said he formed the light and create darkness. Christian church believe that God didn't create evil, man. They believe that Satan created evil. But little do you know, Satan works for the most high. He works for the most high. He command. Satan is the best. He, he, he follow what God says. If God command him to do something, Satan is... I, Obviously, he's doing great because look at the condition of our people, man. He's following what the Most High said. Our people are destroyed because we're in that Christian church. 
And we're going to show you how terrible our God is. Man, start from the top again. Come on, come. This is the book of Isaiah. This Satan served God better than Christians, man. We need to understand that. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. God of the Bible said he makes peace and he creates evil. When you think anything evil that's done in your life, guess what? God is ordaining that thing to happen, man. This is the God that we serve. And the reason why evil is happening to you is because you're not following your father's law, statutes, and commandments. The Christian church, the Christians were just out here saying that the law doesn't help our people. The law most definitely helps our people, man. If you want to you want to know why you die from high blood, high blood pressure from eating swine? It's because God the Bible said don't eat swine. That is our abomination to you. You want to know why you die from monkey pox and AIDS and HIV when you when you uh, a homosexual or lesbian? It's because God said don't follow that lustful lifestyle, man. The God of the Bible, the Christian church, they accept everything. And this is why so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians die, man, from our lustful ways. Because we following and serving another people. These people right here. This nation of people is who we're following and serving. And this is why we die. Because we're not serving the God of the Bible. The God for blacks, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. The minute the IGBK has been saying this since 1969 to come out the Christian church. We have over 20 Christian churches in our so-called blacks and Native American Indians projects. And it has not helped us. It's not saving us. It's making us more oppressed and giving us more destruction, man. We're still dying. We have sisters still being missing still to this day. This is a new year, so-called new year, 2023. And our sisters are still missing. And you, have, you, you are not seeing none of this nation of people doing anything about it. Because they don't care about God's chosen people, man. They are lying to our people. They hate God's chosen people and they hate God. If they love God, they would tell God's chosen people that Jesus Christ is a black man. That, the, that we're supposed to serve the nigga God. That's what they would tell us, but they won't. Because they want to be the high power and they want our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians to serve them. So they could be on top and they could have their foot on our neck. But guess what? We got our foot on our neck right now because we know the truth, man. And we're going to stand on that. The Most High of the Bible tells us to separate from these people because they are devils. Like the brother was bringing out earlier. The word devil simply means deceiver, liar, because they lied to God, chosen people. Start from the top again. Oh, God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. I formed the light and create darkness. He formed the light and create darkness. Read. I make peace and create evil. He make peace and create evil. These, the, the, these oppressors over there in Ukraine and Russia thinking they're going to create peace. No, the Most High create peace. If he wants the war to stop, the Most High will make the, the war stop, man. He is not God. He is not the chosen people of the Bible. They are devils, deceivers. They are the greatest deceivers on the face of the earth. They are lying to so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians by teaching you a fairy tale, man. They're telling us lies and keeping us low. We're at the bottom of society. This is why other nations could come here and they can thrive over top of us. Prime example, we are in Chinatown, in Chocolate City. They're thriving. They got businesses all, 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 all over the U.S. But blacks and Spanish and American Indians are still at the bottom, man. We're at the bottom. We don't have a nigga town. They got Chinatown throughout the U.S. and, 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 and getting money and giving right back to their people. They have a government. They have a military. But so-called blacks and Spanish and American Indians, we don't have a government, a military, or a neighborhood so we could thrive. We had it once we integrated, but God the Bible told us to separate, segregate, which means separate. But since we integrated, we lost those things. And now these other nations have Chinatown, and these other nations could come and put businesses in our neighborhoods and take our money and keep us poor and get back to their nations. This is why we destroy, man. Stop and talk one more time. Come on, come I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I am Slaki. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord God do all these things, man. The wars that's happening, the tornadoes that's happening on the earth, the earthquake, the Lord is doing all these things, man. Not the oppressor. The oppressor is the deceiver. He's telling our people that heart create the weather and stuff like that. Keeping our people believing in fairy tales so we can continue to serve our enemy. God, the Bible is the author of all these things that's happening, man. He is not the author of confusion. 
The Father that we serve is a powerful God. And we need to come back and follow the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to us. And when I say us, I'm talking about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. So we can, we can be on top and get out this oppression that we're in in America, man. Because right now, our brothers and sisters are oppressed. And we are oppressed because we're not following the laws. But the Christian church telling our people that the laws are done away with. And that is a lie. And that keeps our people destroyed, man. This is why we got to come out that Christian church. We cannot stress that enough. It's not for our people. When you go inside that Christian church, like I said before, when you think of Jesus Christ, this image is going to pop in your head. I don't care how old you is. This image right here is going to pop up when you think of Jesus Christ. But Christ of the Bible is a black man, a man of war. He's not no sissy guy like this guy right here, man, teaching us all fairy tales and, all, and, and living off emotions, all love. The God of the Bible is a terrible God. And we about to show the judge that. Give me Exodus 15 and 3. Everything we're saying is thus said the Lord. We're not giving you our private interpretation. We don't give a damn about the members. We're not going to lie to our people, man. We're going to tell our people the truth, even if the truth hurts. The truth hurts, man, but it fixes you. It has you to live. The most high did not want you to die. But if he want to take you out because you're not following his law, statutes, and commandments, he has the power to do that, man. But we got to come out that Christian church because we're going to, we're, we're, we're living, this city is full of death, man. And we're going to come out here to save God-chosen people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians. Now we're going to show you the Christ of the Bible and the difference between the sister and the Christian church. Read. God, God, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a what? Man of war. The Lord is a man of war. This man right here is not a man of war, man. This, this nation of people are a nation of deceivers. They are all love. They are all soothing things, like I was saying earlier. They are, that's the only thing I can say. They all love. When you go inside a Christian church, it's love, 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 love. Forgive, 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 forgive. And that destroys so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. Our men need to be warriors again. We are being effeminized by this nation of people. These are the feminine people. These are weak nations. These nations are weak. They can drop bombs on innocent children and innocent people and get away with it. And we, and we accept it because we believe that God is all love. These people are cowards, man. They drop bombs on innocent children and can turn around and put so-called Latino brothers in cages at the border. Then turn around and lock up and, and, and discriminate so-called black men in America. And then come to America and kill Native American Indians. And they can get away with all that because we love these people. They teach us all love, man. That's, that, that's destroying us as a nation. We got to separate from these people, man. These people right here are the best deceivers in the face of the earth. And that's what devil mean. Devil means deceiver. They deceive our people. They are responsible for every wicked thing that goes on in the face of the earth. But we accept it because we serve this nation of people. Like I said before, the Bible in Matthew 6 and 28 said, The lust of the Father you will do. The lust, when we love this nation of people and we lust after them, we're going to do every terrible thing that they do. We are replicas of this nation of people. This nation of people can, can rape children and get away with it. And what we do, we follow after their things and we die. God hates that, man. God hates this nation of people and the wicked ways that they, that they do, man. But the minute the actually became been saying since 1969, come out the Christian church. Because the God that you serve is not the God of the Bible. Start from the top again. God, oh God, it's the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. He is not this guy right here, this sissy guy, like I was just saying earlier, teaching you all love. He is a man of war. And he destroys people for messing with his children. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. The Most High is going to destroy America off the face of the earth for what is done for his chosen people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And if you don't believe me, we'll go in the Bible to show you that the God of the Bible is a man of war. And we're going to show you right now. Drop that. Give me Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 8. Start at verse 8 first. We're going to go in the Bible to show you the difference between the God of the Bible and the God that you serve in that Christian church. And how the God of the Bible and the Lord is a man of war, and how the God that you've been serving is not a man of all love and destruction and lies, man. We're going to show you in the Bible. But you have to realize, the Christian church have the same Bible in it. Now, now uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's soccer. Obadiah in the Old Testament, chapter 1, verse 8. 
we go in the Bible. They have this very same Bible in the Christian church, but they're not teaching God's chosen people none of the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. When you go inside that Christian church, you are able to just sit there quiet and listen to the pastor teach you all lies and philosophy and, and, and all wickedness, man. And you leave out that Christian church destroyed. And you die because of it. And they members is coming in there believing it because they, they was taught all love and all soothing things. God, so you telling me by me smoking crack, God loves me? And all, and all I got to do is die to go to heaven? So when you, when you leave that Christian church, you're going to continue to do more crack cocaine to die faster to get to heaven because you're oppressed. And that's how these people are so crafty in destroying our people by telling them lies, man. This nation of people are crafty people. That's in the Bible. They're very crafty with their lies. And we believe it. And this is why we got to separate from these people. These people are responsible for all the murders, all the stealing and deaths in our, in our community, man. And when I say our, I'm talking about the people on this side, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and they working Indians. Because the God of the Bible doesn't deal with all nations. He only deal with his chosen that he chose. And that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now we're about to go in the Bible to show you how terrible the God we serve is and what he's going to do to this nation of people for destroying his chosen people. Call it, tell where you at. Oh, God, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 10. Start at verse 8. Come on, God, verse 8. Shall I not in that day say the Lord? Say who? The Lord. Who? The Lord Read. even destroyed the wise men out of Edom. Out of Edom. Now, according to the Bible, there's 18 nations in the Bible. You could, you, every nation can identify itself in the Bible. Edom, whenever you hear Edom in the Bible, it's talking about this nation of people right here, the oppressor, the colonizer, these thieves that came over here and stole the land from the American Indians. When you see that word Edom, it's referring to this nation of people now, God said this. Stop from the top again. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? The Lord said, shall he not in that day destroy the wise men out of Edom? This nation of people, he's asking, shall he not in that day destroy the wise men of Edom? Read. And understanding out of the mount of Esau. And out of the mountains Esau, all these nations of people. He's, he's asking, shall he not in that day destroy the wise men of Edom and of the Mount of Esau? Read. Come on, come. And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that everyone. That what? That everyone. That everyone. And let's see what the Lord has to say according to the Bible. Read. Of the Mount of Esau. Of the Mount of Esau, the nation of Edom, this nation of people right here. Read. May be cut off. May be what? Cut off. This nation of people may be cut off. And let's see how, according to the Bible, to show you how the Lord is a man of war. Right? May be cut off by slaughter. By what? Slaughter. What? Slaughter. God, according to the Bible, is going to cut off this nation of people by slaughter. And that now, that might sound crazy. That might not seem like all love like you Christians believe in the Christian church. But guess what? The God of the Bible is a just God. We have to see why the Most High is going to cut off this nation of people by slaughter. He doesn't kill for no reason, man. The Most High that we serve is a just God. There's a reason for everything. And this is the reason right here. Keep going. Verse 10. For thy violence. For thy what? Violence. What? Violence. Read. Against thy brother Jacob. The Most High said he's going to cut off this nation of people by slaughter for the violence against thy brother Jacob. Now, who is Jacob? Jacob... It's the, his name was changed to Israel. And this is the, the, the man that's responsible to make up the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. And that means you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. When you hear Jacob of the Bible, it's referring to a nation of people. And that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now, stop one verse up again. Go on, come. Verse 9. Start at verse 10. Top of 10. Go on, come. Verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Shame shall cover thee, this nation of people. Since they put blacks into slavery, Hispanics on the border in cages, and slaughtered the Native American Indians for their land, shame shall cover thee for the violence against thy, thy brother Jacob. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. 
We've been oppressed for 400 plus years. And we got to understand that the God that we serve is a powerful God, man. And this man right here portraying himself to be God so he can keep us into bondage and keep us at the bottom of society. If you, we need to realize we, we, gotta, we always wonder why we are low, why we're suffering, why we're oppressed. And we always ask God questions like, why am I going through this? Why am I so oppressed? Why? Why, why do, the bills are going up and I can't afford it? I have children, Lord. I'm trying to take care of these kids. I can't make ends meet. I'm tired. I'm stressed and I'm oppressed. But what you need to do is come out the Christian church so you can be healed, man. You can follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Come get a flyer and learn from the priests and prophets of the Lord of the ISBK so you can come out this oppression and you can be free. You can be set apart from these nations on the planet Earth, man. You can follow your custom, your culture. You can, you can get your identity back because we have stolen identity, man. And we have a land after us, and it's Israel. But the land that we have over there in Israel right now is being defiled and disgusted by our oppressors, man. They're dwelling in our land. We come from Israel. But the Christian pastors are not going to teach us this because they want us to join hands with our oppressor and keep us oppressed and destroyed as a people. And this is why we're at the bottom of society because we serve a different nation of people and their gods. God tell us don't serve these other gods. He is a jealous God like the brother brought out earlier, man. When you serve other gods, the most high gets jealous. Like prime example, this, I'm talking directly to our brothers in our community, man. Whenever you got a, a, a girl that you've been dealing with for over like five, six years that you love the most, and you come home and you see your sister laying up with another man, you're going to be hurt. You're going to be jealous. You're going to feel shame, man. Well, guess what? That's how the most high feel when we serve these other gods. He feels jealous. He feels shame because we serve other gods and not him. When I say the people that I refer to are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, God is a jealous God. When you serve other gods, the most high is jealous and he hates it, man. And this is why we are destroyed because of it. Start from, start from verse 10 again. Oh, God. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, so-called blacks and Spanish and American Indians, shame is going to cover thee. The Most High is going to bring destruction into this nation of people because they are responsible for the destruction of you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians, man. Your, your depression, your oppression, and your struggle, and your stress is going to be set free once the Most High take care of his business by getting rid of this nation of people, man. The Most High loves his people. He has, he has not forgotten about the pain and suffering we've been going through in America, man. The reason why we're still in this oppression is because he wants us to come back and serve him the God of the Bible. But the reason why we are continuing to be at the bottom of society because we love everything because the Christian pastors are responsible for our destruction, man. We shouldn't have strip clubs in our community. Our sisters shouldn't be in the polls. This nation of people are responsible for it. And they tell you that God is our love. Now our sisters fill up the strip club. That's whoring our sisters, man. Our sisters are the best sisters on the face of the earth. They are righteous. They are the daughter of Zion, man. You are the powerful sisters on the earth. You need to come out that Christian church and be the, the greatest people of the Bible, man. Even our brothers, man. We got to stop whoring our sisters, man. You got to treat your sisters right. Love your sisters, man. When you lay with that sister, you stay with her. Don't be like the Christian church. Man, you got pastors sleeping with some of the people, women, inside of the Christian church. And they still able to have the Christian church in their community and members still go in it, man. Because you know why? That's the lifestyle that they love and they full of, man. The Christian church is a big scandal, man. They, 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 they hate our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians. We all see that they have uh, uh, pastors molesting children and, and uh, molesting little boys and girls in the Christian church. But if we still go there looking for the word of God, they're not teaching us the word of God, man. They hate our people. They are full of lustful lifestyle because they serve this nation of people right here. This nation of people, this is their culture. They could be homosexuals. They sleep with other men's wives. They do drugs. They jump off of buildings and think it's fun. This is their this is their nation of people and their culture, man. This is not ours. We don't do that stuff, man. The most according to the Bible, it gives you the characteristics of the chosen people. It say that Jacob dwelt in tents. This nation of people dwell in the field, man. They do wild stuff, wild things that blacks and Spanish and American Indians don't don't not supposed to follow. And when we follow it, we die. This is why we're destroyed, man, because we follow after another nation of people. And God told us, according to the Bible, to separate from this nation of people because they are responsible for every tribulation that goes on in our nation, man. 
Everything that goes on in our nation is, is oppression. We are oppression. We're tired. We're tired, man. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of doing nine to five and I can't afford to pay the rent. I'm making the same wages and somehow this nation of people can raise up the rent. That's keeping us, and they, they, they believe that God is all love. But why are we so oppressed? They're responsible for our rent going up and our wages are staying the same, man. They, they rule the planet Earth. They rule the planet Earth, believe it or not. And we believe that these people are God. But guess what? I'm about to go in the Bible and I'm about to show you what God, according to the Bible, had to say about these people that rule the planet Earth. Drop that. Give me Job 9 and 24. So we can understand that the people that we serving was our enemies the whole entire time. They're telling us that the devil is underneath the ground with some horns. No, the devil is walking amongst you right now as you speak, man. He's walking right beside you as you speak. And you got to separate yourself from him spiritually. Like the brother was bringing out earlier. Don't celebrate none of his holidays. Christmas, New, uh, uh, New Year's Day, which is not New Year's, like he was bringing out earlier. Uh, uh, what's the upcoming ones? Uh, Valentine's Day, Easter. These are all pagan holidays of this nation of people. Don't celebrate these holidays, man. You keep your money. You you, you make sure his, his nation of people go out of business, man. This is how you separate from these people spiritually. You got what I want? Read. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth. The what? The earth. One more time. The earth mm -hmm. is given into the hand of the wicked. According to the Bible, the God of the Bible said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, so-called blacks and Spanish and American Indians, we have common sense. If you look at every nation on the planet Earth today and look at every nation, everything they own, the armies, the military, what they do, there's a nation of people that rule the planet Earth. And we all know it's not Africans. We all know it's not blacks. We all know it's not Hispanics, Native American, and it's not African. There's a nation of people that rule the planet Earth. And there's these people right here. God of the Bible is telling us that this nation of people rule the planet Earth. They rule the planet Earth. And we're going to show you what God calls these people according to the Bible. Right? Start from the top. Oh, God. The Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This nation of people right here. Right? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And how did he cover the faces of the judges? By betraying this man right here of being Jesus Christ. And this is who we serve when you think of Jesus Christ, like I was saying earlier. We've been serving this man right here for 400 plus years. And this is why so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are at the bottom of society and we don't have anything. Because when we, we live better during sl slavery, man. When we were segregated, we had our own businesses. We had our own community that was thriving, man. We had Tulsa, Oklahoma. But now since we serve this nation of people and integrated, we have nothing, man. Right, man. And with a, bro with a brother bringing out his heavy, man, we have, we have, right now we have this sign to worship, right? And this is what Martin Luther King gave us. Martin Luther King, they just, just, pa just passed. And, ev and, and everybody, and everybody still worship him, worship Martin Luther King. As an important icon, it's, 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 everybody's so sensitive when we bring up the truth. But the truth about Martin Luther King is he was a traitor. He was a sellout, and he did not he, he did not help us, man. He did not help us at all. I, I know it, it's shocking. Everybody's looking like, oh my God, he's talking about Martin Luther King. Yes, you know why? Because the black community was stronger and richer before integration. Tell me, I'm lying. Am I lying? See, look, listen, I know the eyes of the king. We, 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 we talked about Martin Luther King and all the and all the old the older people, the, our older our older generation who's in their seventies and sixties and fifties always hate when we bring up when we bring up the truth about that nasty sellout Martin Luther King, man. Guess what? We you, listen. We fought, we fought for civil rights, and There's the black one. We are There's not benefited, benefited from it today. But all the other people, all the other immigrants who came in after okay. benefit from us, man. You got you got Africans that come over here, Ethiopians that come over here, and they own you and they own all different businesses, U Street, and everything like that. Black man, we own nothing, man. The black economy, the black we, we are the black businesses, man. Decades ago, black people owned their own stores in D.C. and all over. You had Black Wall Street. Black people at one time had a black airport. Where's the black airport? It's gone. It's gone. Where's, where's the black cell phone carrier? Where is it, man? 
We have given all we have given all our influence and all our talents to Caucasian companies, man. Nike Nike is what? Nike and Adidas is what? A Caucasian company. But guess what? They Nike and Adidas will not make billions without niggas. All these companies will not make money without a black face on it. Why? Because we are the most influential, man. But guess what? If we had our, we, guess what? We can take our own influence and have our own companies, man. What is the NBA without black people? What is all, what, what, what are all these clothing companies without? ISUPK presents the 54th annual Feast of Unleavened Bread. Last year we did it big. This year is going to be way big, big, big. More brotherhood, more sisterhood, more UPK. On Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, we're going to be at 421 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Sheraton Raleigh Hotel Ball. Ball on. We call it all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians to come join us. Into your third aisle peephole. Line for line is shit too easy. It's like a free throw. Mastered the game too early. This bitch is cheap. Remember, admission to the Passover is $200 per adult. That's $200 per adult. For more information, call 919-697-8257. Call 919-697-8257.